Okay. So, um, are you two, Denethor and Winnell, are you two ready to take off, she says? No, I want to I wanna ask, you, ask the party something before, uh, first. I mean, um, you guys got some dragon stuff, right? And wouldn't it be wiser to try to use it on this forge city, since they are basically blacksmiths? Like, try to enchant our stuff? I mean, I, I don't know what's the purpose of the dragon stuff. What's your objective with it? But um, I think it would be a good idea to use it on a blacksmith city. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. I guess. That, that... If, if we can work with it, then of course we can stop by there again after we get the horses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the, Denator, you bring up a good point. Yes. Forge is a smithing crafting town. So if you are to find somebody in the city to work with dragon hide and dragon... Um, scale and claw and teeth, uh, that would probably be the place. Um, yeah, that's actually sounds... a very good idea. And one, one more thing, now I'm talking to uh, Wino. Mm. Do you mind Do you mind uh, sleeping first? Because I'm, I'm feeling my, that my magic's a bit drained, you know, and I don't want to take any risks. Do you mind taking a, a rest, a longer rest, I mean? <laughs> well, then we have to fly in the dark. I think if we go now, there's a big chance that we actually will miss the Danir. All right. Because I don't think yeah. they will expect us to use the Hippogriff to fly. And we can fly pretty low. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Um, so... All right, so... All right, then, says the captain. I wish you luck on your journey. And... And... Godspeed may... Avandra and Melora see you safely to your destination. And she turns to the rest of you and says, So, those, those birds fucked up my ship. Um, I'm being very generous. I've been very generous, I think. Um, but do you think you can, you know, once you're rested up and fed, um, could you guys help me with a couple of tasks that have to be done on the ship in preparation for um, for repairs for when the secure security team comes? I mean, is is that too much to ask, or are you a little, are you guys feeling a little drained from that battle currently? Certainly, I I had so much fun shoveling that coal. <laughs> Give me a task. Uh, all right. Um, all right, so Deneth she, she waves at Winnow and Den Denethor as you guys take off, and you guys, I guess, take off. Um, there is a nice south southern breeze blowing currently, so that will probably help you on your journey. Uh, you're not flying against the wind. So she turns to Akros and says, all right, so this is what I need. Um, I have minor damage to the hull of my ship. I need those boards replaced. How good are you with a hammer? How good are you with a hammer? I'm I'm the best in you know. Hammering, hammering. Yeah. Ramis, how you how you how how's your carpentry? Okay. Okay. All right. I want you to. Hey, um, Razor. <laughs> Could you could you help them with the hull of the ship? I'll send two of my crew members down with you. It's just replacing a few boards. Um, he she kind of whispers in your direction, Razor, and says, "I don't know if I can fully trust them with my ship, but can you make sure you oversee this process? I mean." You, you you've handled you know wooden items before. You're a nature you're like the nature paladin. So uh, you know, could you could you could you help them out, please, and make sure they don't damage my ship? I say I, I can't make no promises, but I can try that. The I can promise you that they won't damage your ship anymore on purpose. That is. She kind of stops. <laughs> Hey, Storm, can you go down there with them, too? And Storm's like, yeah, whatever. All right. I, I am going to go with... I'm going to go to the engine room and talk to my engineers and see what we can do in the meantime to prep for our long, long, long wait. And she, she walks 
towards the the boiler um, where a couple of gnomes with go golden goggles have just been looking at and tinkering with. And Storm looks at Razor, Akros, and Remus and says, all right, we're going to go to the bow of the ship. Um, I need, there's some planks in downstairs um, in the room next to the galley. Just pick up as many as you can carry, he says. I'll go get the tools and I'll ask somebody to bring the tar and I will be with you momentarily and he goes off in another direction to and talks to a few people about tools and getting some tar for finishing the ship um okay so razor acros ramus you guys are together um you guys can talk amongst yourselves uh denethor and winnow um you guys are going at a steady pace and I want to see if you see anything. So roll perception checks for me, please. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I see some, maybe. You, there are some, Denethor, you see some, you know, hawks in the air. You know, pretty clouds. <laughs> you know, it's pretty clear. When I'll, you see... One or two, maybe one airship in the distance, but it's flying away from you. It's it doesn't look it looks like it's doing its own thing. There are a couple birds. It's a it's a very clear day actually, so you could see out for miles, and nothing really catches your eye. Um, okay, I, I will actually ask my hippogriff. Mm -hmm. uh, um, tell me if he smells something. I think it has keen senses or something. I I it does have a good sense of smell, so the Hippogriff, did you did you cast speak with animals? Uh, yes. Okay, and he he just kind of nods. Uh, he's like, Rock, yep. Um, less intelligent than Orange Cat, of course. Much, m m not very intelligent. But when you say, hey, keep me, keep an eye, an eye, keep a nose out for weird smells. He's like, all right, no problem. Um, all right, so Akros, Remus, and Razor, are you guys going downstairs to get planks and stuff? Or are you not doing as she says and doing other things? Uh, we'll start with Razor. I'm just going to make sure that everybody goes downstairs to get the planks. You know, that's sort of what she asked me to do. Okay, Akros, what are you doing? Yep, I'm doing that. All right, Remus, what are you that. doing? All right, cool. So you go downstairs and... You know where the galley is. It's near the uh, midsection of the ship. And there is, you know, there's some food that's out right now, but not a lot. Um, it, the, the staple apparently is jerky on the ship. So the... So you're able to find the planks rather easily. They're huge stacks of six foot long planks. You might need two people to help with. Razor might be okay by himself. Actually, Akros could be okay by himself too. You guys are both pretty strong. Um, Remus might could support you guys, but there are huge stacks of planks, about 40 uh, all together. Um, how much are each of you taking? As much as I can. Mm -hmm. All right. What's your strength, um, Remus? Eleven. Eleven. All right. One hundred. Eh, sorry. So you could pick up about three. Acros can probably get around. Probably get around five. Razor just about the same amount, maybe one or two more, and. Are you just got each of you are just gonna lift these planks by yourselves, or are yeah. you helping one another in some weird way? <laughs> I'm lifting mines up by myself. All right, Akros, you you... okay, Ramus, you too. I guess they're both doing it on their own, so they won't <laughs> let me help them. Okay, that's fine because I, I mean, need. If you offer to help, then you know, okay, I'll accept. But I was just. I, I, you know, I was just going in and picking up planks, but. All right. Um, are you are are you are you or are you not helping him, Ramis? Are you just 
I'll help him. All right, you'll help him. All right, I need all three of you to make dexterity checks. Akros and Ramis, please make. Um, you get to roll with advantage because it's a little more stable with two people holding these planks. Um, just straight decks? Just straight decks. Okay. What do you got, Razor? Razor got... All right, so you, you guys don't break anything on your way up. Um, thankfully, there are no new dents in the ship, and you're able to bring them up rather more or less smoothly. You, you may hit, have hit a doorway, but not enough to do damage. And Storm comes back, and he has, like, a huge keg... Uh, look, a huge bear, a small barrel of tar with him. And he's like, all right, come here, follow me. And you see him, you know, walk down a plank that had been um, put there for people to walk up and down the ship. So he's walking down this plank. And when you get to the end of the plank, there is a few large gaping holes, some burnt marks, some with just the ship had taken some damage from a stray harpoon shot. So there's there's damage there's a you know substantial damage to the ship. Um, Storm says, "All right, so you three with your planks, I need you to rip apart the damaged planks and replace them with these planks. After that's done, um, I'd like you to tar them." to make them water resistant and that should be about it do you three have any questions for me whatsoever please please ask them now or captain grenadier will have my head it's bad shit happens what is tar <laughs> <laughs> you you immediately see storm just put his head in his hands and just shake his head this is tar he says it's very sticky, and you don't want to get it on your skin. You might want to use something like a paint scraper or some kind of tool to slather it on to the boards. It makes things water resistant. Don't put too much. Make sure it gets into the cracks. Any other questions? These are important I a questions. Negative two to remember what tar is. <laughs> Okay. Oh jeez. Okay. A lot, of these, a lot of these planks have like scratches in, on them. You know, are they damaged too? Are they basically rebuilding the ship? No, no, no. He says, and he he looks at Razor and he says, "You, my friend, you you know what damaged wood looks like. Of course you do, right? You're a, you 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 were druids with like for weeks and upon weeks, right?" I'm very tempted to say no. <laughs> fuck with them, and I'm just gonna nod my head. Okay, you so you know which what are, what is probably ship damage and what is probably scratches. I'm gonna let you handle this. I believe in your hands, Paladin. They will be absolutely fine. I, I think. <laughs> think. <laughs> I say, well, it's not my ship, so I don't mind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he just sighs. All right, I'll be break I'll be back in a few minutes to check. Oh, in about half an hour to check how you guys are doing. And he goes to another um, side of the ship where some crew members are helping with other repairs. Um, all right, so Razor, I need you to roll a perception check for me to see what places. Okay, that's excellent. Wow. <laughs> All right, so you know exactly what you guys, you need to repair. Um, there is a hole about the size of your head um, to one side, the, one part of the ship. There is a hole about the size of your fist, probably in another part of the ship. And there is a third hole that is about... German Shepherd size in another part of the ship. Um, so, so you see this. Uh, I want to see if Akros or and Ramis see this too. Okay. Oh, okay, that's nice. Wow, Crit natural 20 beans. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, you see the same things Razor sees. 
and you know, Razor, do you point them out to them, or do you guys yeah. confer uh, and talk to each other and confer? Hey, that's damage. That's damage. That's okay. All right, all right. So you guys could go your separate ways, or you could tackle this one hole at a time. What do you guys want to do? Let me put I'm this this way. How much do you trust your teammates? I, I just start walking. <laughs> I trust them completely. <laughs> I'm going to say let's take care of each hole as a uh, group. Just, you know, to make sure that the job is done right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you guys set forth to do one um, thing. Um, carpentry would probably be a combination of dexterity and intelligence. So I want everybody to roll uh, on dexterity, some uh, just a dex check and an intelligence roll. And meanwhile, back to Denethor and Winnell. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Oh boy. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. Coordination, people. This is this is this is great. So you guys are just working at this. Razor, you know, there, there, there are a couple things that go wrong. You know, some planks are removed that you didn't need to remove. Some, <laughs> some, some tar is not placed in the right place. Um, actually, uh, there's some tar that lands on some of you. Just little bits and specks. Um, you can attempt to scrub that off later. Um, it kind of burns, though. Tar, when it is, you know, when you tarred and feather someone in ye old days, that shit sticks to you. And it's, it's, it's like a, a, like, um, uh, a, a low burning sensation when it sticks to you. It, it, it doesn't hurt, well, if you got more on you than, like, the specs, it would hurt a lot. But thankfully... It's only gotten blotches on a couple arms, maybe a neck on somebody, maybe on Akros, maybe on Ramus, um, maybe a few bits get on you, Razor. But more or less, you think this this is a goddamn actually real perception to see how well you th guys think you did. <laughs> Razor, this is the shittiest job you have oh, ever yeah. seen. <laughs> Akros, this is a, a work a, a god would be proud of. <laughs> Ramus, eh, it's okay. I say, uh, I just signed say we're <laughs> going to have to do this again. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is amazing. I've never been so proud of anything I've done in my life. <laughs> I look at you <laughs> and say, you must live one sad, sad life. <laughs> Ramis, are you gonna say? Are you gonna input anything in this conversation? No, I'm just gonna sit there and admire it. <laughs> okay, all right. So then the third window. A few hours passed. Um, your griffin, your hippogriff, kind of starts looking around. And how long does uh, speak with animal last? Winnell? Like 10 minutes. Okay. He starts looking... Ro Actually, Denethor and Winnell, you roll perception checks for me, please. Again. Alright. Okay. Okay. Um, Denethor, you might be able... So, the Hippogriff looks a little concerned. Um, a little wary. Winnell, you don't spot this, but Denethor spots this immediately. Um, are you going to say anything, Denethor? Or are you just going to keep it to yourself? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say, talk to Inno and say, your, your beast seems concerned. I look at beast. Yeah, maybe. I start looking around and looking back. Yeah, so. And he, he, he the, the, the hippogriff kind of, when he notices that he's gotten your attention, he looks towards the east. Um, you don't. You guys don't see anything, but with the Quibbleger's keen senses, he he's still flying in the direction of the town, 
but he is just and you know he can just glide so you know for short periods of time but he is he's he will not turn his gaze away from the east at all should we take a look there should we wander there a bit the, so the problem is the hippogriff's like eyesight is better than yours so he sees something at this point you know he sees something yeah we can just tell him to go there right no, I don't. I think we keep on the track and we just prepare if something comes. Okay. I start to hover a bit lower. Not like in, like just above the treetop, so to say. Okay. Um. And so I pull out my bow. All right. So you can just guide, and he responds to it, um, perfectly. He just starts guiding down, like gliding down a little lower, just above the treetops. Um. At this point, you do see a speck in the distance a very very just a speck uh it's a dark speck but it's a speck nonetheless and it's if you if you if you set your eyes on it for a couple of minutes as it's getting closer you realize that it is a it is a a um a dragon but you, do either of you have like a sextant or a like a small telescope on your own person? I don't think so. Mm. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Um, all right. So you cannot. It's 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 dragon ish shape. Uh, you can't quite tell what color it is though. Uh, it doesn't look like a very large one though. Just kind of from its shape, it doesn't look like an adult. Maybe a juvenile. Um, and the griffin. Mark, yep. What's can it? I this, can I mark this place? Uh, is that, is this is a spot on my map? Yeah, you can you can memorize you can probably memorize your surroundings and gather right. from where the sun position of the sun is. You can probably remember where this place was. I'll, I'll give okay. you that easily. Um, but that's what's happening. Um, Acros Razor, we just lost David. Um, so, you, you Razor, you want to redo this? You just want to redo this haul? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not, we're not doing this shitty job. Doing... <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Acros. Oh, <laughs> All right. So. All right, so at this point, Storm comes back, and he looks at the hole you guys just repaired, and he says, What the fuck just happened here? Say, what are we doing? Get dope, Martin. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to help you with this, he says. Um, the repairs on the other, other part of the ship are going fine, so le let me help you with, 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 all of, with all of this. So he's going to do some rolls, too. All right, wow, a 19 and 18 on the die. That's cool. All right, he's like, all right, so I want Razor to hold this plank up. I want Akros to... How good are you at hammering, Akros? Just tell me where to point it, and I'll, I'll hammer it. Okay, um, Rumus, how good are you at uh, hammer? Actually, no, no, I don't want you to hammer. He, Storm has been on the ship with you long enough, Ramis, that he knows there's something going on in your head. He, he's <laughs> not sure what, though. Um, I'm pretty sure the answer to that is nothing. <laughs> somebody <laughs> is... No, there's there's you know, there's a sign in there that says space for lease. But anyways, um, all right. So, Akros, I want you to hammer over here. Ramis, I want you to hammer over there. I'm going to tar the boards. Are we clear? I need everybody to roll dex checks. Actually, Razor and Ac Razor, you're going to roll a strength check because you're not hammering. So that doesn't really require dex. It just requires strength. That's fine. So you're just <laughs> holding it with one hand. You're just yawning as Acros. It's your thumb. <laughs> and what's, where's Remus? I rolled a 21. Oh, you're fine. As Akros's hammer um, hits the center of Storm's hand, 
And Akros, can you roll a strength check for me, please? <laughs> sure. As he screams in pain, as the large hammer smacks him straight in the middle of his hand, and he starts screaming bloody murder. <laughs> And he th he starts yelling. I think it's broken. My casting hand. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like screaming in pain as this is happening. I take another swing at the nail. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the nail this time, <laughs> easily. <laughs> at this Ooh, let me help. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna go grab a healing poultress. You you. He he turns to Razor. Razor, you you look like you got this. So I'll be right back. Son of a fucking bitch, twat, cunt, sucker, horse. And he's just screams like swear words all the way up to the uh, to the deck of the ship. When um, you hear Captain Grenad Grenadine yell, "What the fuck happened to your hand?" And 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 there's like some ta normal talking after that. Um, a couple of the crew members had stopped doing their work near the sides of you and just kind of look at your small group and just like looks at Razor and looks at like Akros and Ramus and kind of just sigh <laughs> in relief. I smile really widely. Back <laughs> they're sighing in relief that they're not with you right now. I um, wave and say hi. Uh, <laughs> hi, Ramis. They've been on the ship with you long enough that you they know what you're like. Um, all right, Denethor. Denethor's eating, but when now you can see this. Um, the color of the dragon is bronze. Um, easily, he's he doesn't he looks like he sees you, but he doesn't really acknowledge you guys. He just seems to be. Flying past you guys towards, probably towards Skrurk if you had if 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 that's your best guess. Um, though it's kind of an it's a little unusual. Um, usually, um, dragons would be in pairs just in case, especially with a war against Tiamat forces going on. It, it's it's a little unusual about where he's that he's heading. He or she is heading in that direction by himself but you know you, you do you just keep on going towards forge and just if it doesn't, okay yeah, if it doesn't seem like ag aggressive then we just keep going i will cast speak to animal again just in case we're gonna need to do some fancy maneuvers all right um the 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 your hippogriff have you given the name to the hippogriff i forget uh wild claw oh wild claw uh wild claw is is like dragon Dra not me not like dragon dragons it's scary he says um he he just kind of looks at you looks in the direction the dragon went and kind of just shake his feathers a little bit and but he he keeps on going towards the town um he, he to calm him. yeah he's yeah ammo handling please Okay, uh, that looks like it's it's good enough. Um, you calm him down a bit, and he looks very grateful um, for the the you know the calming of the, you you know the touch parts to touch on the griffin's head. Just yeah, exactly. You're just doing that. You're not going against your grain, that kind of thing. Yeah, he's 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 peachy keen. 